Cedo la palabra, Dan Claude, bienvenido al IPADE. Deseamos que esta nueva Global CEO Lecture sea valiosa para todos. Bienvenido y gracias por estar en el IPADE. I'm very pleased, but not only pleased, I'm very proud to be here and to talk to all of you who came to listen uh, <laughs> to my speech. I suggest that I talk a little bit about the future of the Swiss watch industry, but also a little bit about my experience. In 1967, and I lived in a community, and in 1967, on the 25th of June, 1967, at 9, p.m. our time, there was on BBC television a show, the name was Our World. And in this show, we had four young boys starting to sing. And there were two phrases in this song that never left my brain, my heart, and my soul. And the song starts more or less saying, there is nothing you can do that cannot be done. That was number one lesson of my life. We got a second injection because we had two arms. Uh, <laughs> the second injection in the same song said, all you need is love. And behaving like love, we defined that it would mean basically three elements. Number one, you have to share. Because we are born through a process where a human being, a woman, is sharing blood, is sharing hope, is sharing pain, is sharing visions, is sharing body, is sharing oxygen. During nine months, nine months of sharing, and then we are born. The second rule comes also from when we are born. A child can only start to walk after 375 failures, it must fail. If we would forbid to children to fail, they could not walk even if they would be 20 years old. And number three is you must respect. You must respect women if you employ women. We have in our in one of our factories, we have um, 200 women, 250 men. But we have a kindergarten. Because if you employ women, how can you not have three, 400 square meters to welcome their kids? How can a woman work when she has children? It's nearly impossible. So if you respect your employees, if you respect women, you build in the factory a kindergarten. So we have the three principles of love. We must share, we must forgive, we must respect. In the beginning, the watchmaking art was a military weapon, a very important military weapon, because it enabled the ships on the sea to navigate with accuracy and to arrive at destiny. Because the more accurate your watch was, the more you could navigate with the sky and high precision. So it was a very important uh, instrument. It was like a computer today, more or less. 
So it was an information tool. And slowly, slowly, the Swiss have transformed this information tool into a communicating tool. And now, suddenly, the Swiss, they meet Apple. And Apple, who makes computers and telephone, suddenly made a watch. And everybody in Switzerland said, but that's not a watch. <laughs> no, it's, if it is worn on the wrist, <laughs> and it tells you, among other functions, time, the definition is watch. So when the Swiss say it's not a watch, it's not true, it is a watch. The answer is that for the first time, we might have to find partners in Silicon Valley or partners in other countries uh, and to make partnership and to say to people like Intel, hey, Mr. Intel, why don't you join? And then there is another solution. And the other solution is to say, let's stay with the tradition. Let's stay with the soul. Let's stay with the watch that is a piece of art. And if it is a piece of art, it is a piece of eternity. The brand Tag Heuer, for which I am responsible, we took the decision to do both. We said, on one hand, we must be connected to the future. Let's make a partnership with Intel. We took Intel. And let's make a partnership with Google. Because on a connected watch, you need a language. You need a software. And that way, you have on one side the art, which is anyhow forever eternal. And on the other side, you have the technology, which you can, when it is obsolete, transform from obsolete into eternal. That, was, that is the solution today that the brand Tag Heuer has taken.